There are many things to look at when you work with a 3D printer. One of the things is the correct heat for your filament. Here I have a filament from Reformer and Reformer advise that we can use the temperature from 180 to 220 degrees. That's quite a wide range and I really want to know, find out a temperature is best for me on my enter. So every time you get a new box of filament you need to do a heat tower test. So let's take a look on how to use a heat tower. First of all you need to download my heat tower and I will put the link in the description. You can also make your own heat tower but I will continue with my version of a heat tower. Um, as you can see here on my heat tower there are some lines uh, on the way from matter of fact from the bottom and up we want to look on that and in between each line here there is a distance of five millimeters. So that means that I want to change the temperature for every five millimeters on the way up to the top. So I only know about two slicers who can uh, operate with uh, multiple processes and uh, that is Cura and Simplify 3D. So let's start with Simplify 3D and you go into tools and use variable settings and I want to start five millimeters up. And you can see here it's exactly on my mark and I add this location. Next will be <coughs> 10 millimeters up and you continue as uh, long as uh, as the range is. That means I want to use also uh, five degrees uh, reduction every time I go up uh, to the top here. And for the for the the filament I want to, to test now it was quite a big range so there will be uh, six seven uh, levels. In some cases it's only maybe between uh, 200 to 220 degrees that means you will only use four levels. That's also why the heat tower is printed shorter. So um, I take one more on uh, 15 and uh, I now have uh, my files here. There are three files and as you can see they are named one, two and three. And this is the first one and what's happening here is that it says stop printing at five millimeters. This is the first part of the printing so I don't want a, uh, a solid layer on the top and I don't want that on these as well. If you have many many layers to do I, I would prefer to to prepare the file as simple as possible and then at the start and the end uh, layer when you are uh, finished on uh, uh, slicing it. So um, this is a basic way to do this in Simplify 3D. We also have uh, Cura and I have uh, loaded the same heat tower here and I don't normally use Cura too much but at least I found out that if you go to plugin you have a tweak and as I can see it's quite powerful so when I at this one here now, you can see it comes with uh, to tweak to a height of five millimeters, and in that case, I want to reduce to 215 degrees. Nothing else. I add a tweak again, and then this time it's around 10 millimeters, exactly the same as in Simplify 3D, and I go down to 210, and so on and so on until you are in uh, on the minimum of the temperature this means that we start with with the hottest here if you look on the basics we have 220 degrees here that would be started here print 220 there now we print 215 210 205 200 and so on until we come to to 180 that was uh, the lowest the manufacturer recommended. So let's uh, go get uh, doing uh, some prints on this filament.
So the heat tower has been printed and uh, right now it is your eye that will see what you think is the best. It will always be the user, the maker who, who, who decide what temperature and, and what he like uh, best. So in the first way the button is solid and if you look on the marks they are here and we started with 220 and went up here 5 millimeters to 215 210 and so on and so on until we got to 180 degrees so when i know and that's maybe difficult to see in the camera but when i now uh, turn this around in the light i can see it's extremely shiny here and it's get less shiny as lower the temperature gets if the filament is very shiny. For me, it's it's a kind of uh, too hot. So it starts really to get better on the half of the way. But for real, my judgment is around 185, 190 degrees. It looks really great. If you take a look on on the, on the back side, it gives me the same result here around. Uh, the 185 degrees it really looks good it's not too shiny and again here I can see it, it's quite shiny up to here and that is a sign for me that that it is too hot but I also uh, took some good quality uh, pictures of the, the heat tower I can zoom them on the computer and take a, a closer look on on the layers as well well, as I said at the end, it is your eyes that that uh, make the judgment. And as long as you're within the range that the filament uh, manufacturer provides, you uh, should be good. It has something to do also with strains. It seems I can't break it, honestly. This is PLA. I really can't break it, so it's good. So anyway, for me, the best is 185. And this part I printed after I have been setting the temperature to 185 and it looks just amazing. This will be for my ender here. The, it will raise the panel and get it in here so it gives me a better view uh, instead of uh, doing like that. Um, that's it for today. Uh, the next I will, will look into is the feed rate to the extruder and how we, we calculate it and do it, it on an easy way. There are, uh, this is uh, the first part of, of a three part uh, video uh, who describes one, heat of the filament, two, feed rate, and three, bed levering and adhesion. So uh, have a nice day and happy printing. See you later, bye.